Hi, and welcome to the course called Application Programming 2, or CST 236. In this class at Grand Canyon University, we're going to be exploring PHP and MySQL. My name is Shad Sluter, and I am an instructor at Grand Canyon University. So I've taught a lot of different classes and different levels, including high school, GED classes, and here now at the university. In the past, I've worked as an IT director, as a school teacher, and also as a missionary in Mexico. Let me tell you about a great place to work and to study. This video series is designed for people that are attending Grand Canyon University. If you're not a student here, let me give you some information about this great school. First of all, it's a pretty big campus now with 20,000 students. An additional 80,000 are taking online degrees. It's a dramatically different place than it was 20 years ago, where just a few thousand students were on the campus here. I work in the technology department where we have degrees in computer science, programming, engineering, cybersecurity, information technology, and pre-med, so it's quite a school now. So specifically, let's talk about this class and how it relates to the videos. So it's a class that is designed to be three semesters of PHP programming if you are a computer programming student. In level one, we teach you the basics of programming. Level two is object-oriented PHP. And in level three, we use Laravel with a framework that makes things more efficient. Students that are programming majors also would receive three semesters of C-sharp and .NET development, as well as three semesters of Java and Java Enterprise. In our senior year, we have capstone projects, which give students the opportunity to explore their skills in their own specialties. So PHP, .NET, and Java are what we speak here at GCU. Let's first of all talk about what we learn in this course. This is course number two in PHP. It focuses on the development of dynamic enterprise class web apps. We'll be using PHP and MySQL, but in extended ways than we did in class number one. In the first class, we focused ma mainly on learning the syntax of PHP, and it was our first experience at writing SQL statements and creating tables in a database. In class number two, the emphasis of the class is going to be twofold. First of all, object-oriented pro programming will be used, and we'll spend more time in careful design and proper structure of our code. Here are some of the course uh, topics we're going to be uh, looking at. We'll start right off with explaining and doing some examples with object-oriented programming in PHP. Then we'll move into de designing some tables in our database, which will lead us to a more robust application than we did the previous semester. Here are some of the things that you will learn along the way during this course. We're going to talk about object-oriented programming, and so assuming you've never used it before. We'll use object-oriented programming to develop authentication methods so our users can log in, log out, and be checked for every single page that we use in our app. We'll continue to work with MySQL. We'll import and export files. We're also going to create a new type of data format for our app called JSON. JSON is an acronym for JavaScript Object Notation. It's used for communicating between applications on the internet. Number five and six are uh, objectives that we would work with in a database. So we'll talk about relational tables so that we have foreign keys and uniqueness set in our keys. And so uh, extra work with uh, practice on SQL and table construction. In objective number seven, we'll do some data validation every time we do a form submit. In number eight, we'll talk about rollback and commit functions. And so we do transactions that are either completely successful or failure. So that way, when we do financial transactions, we don't have um, half, half purchased items. And number nine is a big objective. It says here, demonstrate web-based application functions according to specified requirements. So that means we're going to be looking at designing our site rather than just mimicking a site. And so we'll have design pages. So we'll create wireframes. We'll create designs for our database before we create it. We'll talk about our object-oriented classes and document those. And so our application will be better quality and correct in our, uh, in our practice. The majority of your grade from this assignment will come from our milestone applications. 82% of your grade, actually. And so it's important that you create a quality piece of work 
and keep up because every milestone depends on the previous. I'll also be doing in-class activities that will help you in designing your application. And so these in-class activities are more step-by-step -step and very guided.